Hi there, folks. Welcome to episode two of I Don't Want to Hold Your Hand, Beatles Quarantine Catalog. Um, episode two on day 12 of quarantine, my quarantine at least. Um, we're doing all right over here. The Beatles are helping us survive, um, as usual. So um, episode two means uh, song number two, which is a little weird song called Cayenne, which we will get to in a second. Um, but uh, in case you missed the first episode, go watch it. Uh, but as I explained, I am attempting to play all 248 Beatles songs uh, over the course of God knows how long. Uh, one song at a time, one song per video. I do a little background, trying to recreate it as best I can with a guitar, uh, my voice, and a, a, a microphone. I, I will have special guests come in. Uh, I'm going to have my first guest on episode three, so that's coming up. Definitely listen for that. Um, but yeah, so uh, before we get into the song, um, we need to talk, as I promised in the last video, about what makes the Beatles catalog uh, to me. 248 songs, how do I get to that number? Um, so uh, obviously the easiest way to start is with what was officially released by the Beatles. Um, there are 182 songs that appear on their albums from Please Please Me to Abbey Road, uh, 182 songs. Those are obviously Beatles songs, covers, originals, all of them. Uh, there's also 28 singles that have, uh, came out sporadically between albums and whatnot. Um, those are obviously Beatles songs as well. Those are the, album, the songs that appear on the Past Masters albums, if you have listened to those. Um, so that gets us to over 200 official Beatles songs as released by them when they were a group. But there are also these unbelievable uh, deep cuts uh, these hidden unknown songs that even some super intense Beatles fans might not have heard or might not know that they are from the Beatles. Um, and those are, there's uh, 18, 18 songs that the Beatles wrote, in some cases recorded, but in all cases ended up giving to other groups, uh, to uh, up and coming um, musicians trying to jumpstart their career. Um, the most notable ones would be, I, I would think, um, Come and Get It as a Bad Finger song written by the Beatles, uh, A World Without Love, a uh, Peter and Gordon song written by the Beatles, obviously. And it's one of the most beautiful songs ever. I don't know how the Beatles gave that away. But, um, but yeah, all these songs, um, they're so essential to me to, to include them in a catalog, and I will be playing them as we go. Um, and I'm excited for you to hear them, possibly for the first time. They're just so great to listen to a song like From a Window, uh, which it, they gave away, which is obviously take one of No Reply. Like No Reply is obviously much better than From a Window, but they kind of have the same vibe. Um, so it's just, it, it's very cool to listen to these songs um, and include them in the catalog. So, uh, and in many cases, the Beatles were there producing the song. So like they, they really are Beatles songs. They're just sung and, and performed by other people. Um, so then that leaves us with 20 more songs um, that are just their original tunes that the Beatles recorded and just never put out officially on their albums. That would be stuff like Christmas Time Is Here Again, In Spite Of All The Danger, Cayenne, these songs that um, they recorded and, and released for the most part, just not as an official Beatles song. Um, uh, and these are so essential to the catalog, uh, to listen to something like uh, What's New, Mary Jane, which is a weird, weird song. Um, but it's obviously John's first attempt at Cry Baby Cry, which is obviously much better. So um, just uh, to listen to all of these in order, you really get uh, a better understanding of how they're growing and how they're uh, they're getting better at what they uh, at what they do. So that's where we get 248 songs from. There are a couple other songs that I don't include that I think some people might uh, songs like uh, um, "All Things Must Pass" uh, or uh, "Jealous Guy" uh, by John Lennon. These songs that the Beatles wrote together in some cases, recorded in some cases. Um, but decided to put off to other albums or wasn't good enough and then they released as solo uh, pieces when they uh, once they broke up but to me something like uh, all things must pass the Beatles didn't think it was good enough and so they didn't release it and then George released it on his own I, I just don't think that that's a Beatles song and 
uh, Child of Nature, which became Jealous Guy, wasn't quite good enough, and then Jealous Guy was written later. So it, if the Beatles didn't want it to be heard, it's not going to be heard. So that brings us to our song for today, Cayenne. Uh, it's a very short instrumental piece. Um, the Beatles had a bunch of instrumental pieces uh, back in the day when they were very first starting out because playing an instrumental rock song was like a popular thing. There was a group called The Shadows, which um, this song is definitely inspired by. Um, they would just play uh, instrumentals, sort of like just playing club music, basically. So um, Cayenne is an instrumental piece, and it's just lead guitar. And it was recorded in Paul McCartney's childhood home, apparently in his bathroom, um, on just a home recorder. It is not a great recording. It is not a great performance. Uh, but, you know, the, the Beatles uh, rehearsed something, they put it on tape, and they wanted people to hear it. So, catalog. As always, um, if you'd like to support the series, I will put my Venmo over here. Um, and uh, please enjoy the second Beatles song ever, Cayenne.